In this video, I'll show you how you can create a login page on Google Sites. Now, if you follow these steps, it should be very easy. So let's jump into it. So I'm going to be using this website here, which is a Google Sites website I just made for another example. And the first thing we need to do, the very first thing, you want to go to Pages and you want to create a new page and just call it something like Members. Members or Members Area, doesn't really matter, and then click Done. Now this is where people are going to be taken once they've logged in to your website. So now we can go back home and here is what my home looks like, but obviously you would use your own website. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to this external website called authpro.com. Now authpro allows us to create login fields and sign up fields and essentially run a membership website. Now they have different versions, but for what we're after, we can use the free plan. So if you go down here to free off pro account, you can then sign up for a free account. So click sign up and then I want to use a setup wizard to configure my account now. Click continue, then enter in your username, password, name and email. You don't actually have to enter in your website, but you can do and then create your account. For the sake of the video, I'll leave my website out of this, these boxes here. Uh, but now I can go ahead and click create account. And here you can see that the account has been created and now we can proceed to the setup wizard. So click on that. Now make sure you follow along here because this is going to be the most important part where you connect your Auth Pro account with Google Sites so you can then use their login features. So it says new member registration option. I want members to register for free and access my members area or do you want members to register and then access when they verify their email? And you can choose any of these. I want to manually verify members. So do you want to manually like OK them before they join? For the sake of the video, I'm just going to choose I want members to register for free and access my members area without a verification. So I'll click next here. Then it's going to give you a registration form that people are going to need to fill in. Now, by default, it's going to ask them for their name, email, username, password and verified password. Now I'm happy to use all of these, so we're just going to keep these. But if you wanted to uncheck any, you can just uncheck them here. You can also move them up and down um, if the order isn't quite correct. But anyway, now we can go ahead and go next. And this is where we're going to have to configure some URLs. So we've already made the members area. So you want to go back to your website, publish it, and then just go ahead and preview it. So here is my website here. It's a Google Sites website. Now we go to members area. And what you want to do, yeah, so make sure it loads OK. Now what you want to do is copy the URL of this members area. And you can see here it's asking for the members area URL. We can then paste that in. Now, if there's a failed login, we can send them to somewhere else. But for the sake of the video, I'll leave that because it is optional. It also says protected page authorization failed URL. Uh, members are going to be sent there if they try and access the protected page without logging in. Here I'm just going to put the home page. So I'm just going to send them back to the home page if they try and log, uh, try and access the members area without logging in. So we'll paste in the home page um, URL. Log out URL. If they log out, they can then be redirected to another URL. This is kind of advanced stuff that you can set up. And then here, make sure it's on I want to hide my members area URL. Then click next. So, okay, so now you can add some members to your account. This is going to be for testing purpose. And I guess this is going to be the account that you use. So in the username, I'll just put admin, password, admin, and the email, I'll just use uh, my business email. Okay, so now we can add that, we can click on next. Okay, so almost finished. Now, again, this is very important. We have completed configuring your account. Now you need to update your website to work with our password protection. So now what we need to do is add this login form. Now you can add this a link on your website to display the login form. So go ahead and copy this, then go back to your website, go back to the editor, and here you want to find the place where you want to add the login form. Maybe it's on your home page, maybe you've got a separate login page, but nonetheless go to insert, click on embed, and then embed a URL, and then paste in that URL that you've just copied. Once you've done that, click insert, and that's going to insert the login form. Now you can obviously customize the size of this, and you know, you can customize how this looks onto your website. So here is my login form. Okay, so let's go to the next step. The next step is to add a registration form. 
Now you can go ahead and add this with this link by doing the exact same thing, but this is optional and people can actually register here by just clicking on this link. There are some other steps which are also optional like adding password reminders. And you also want to do this where it says protect your members areas pages. So this is very important. So you want to go ahead and copy this code and then you want to head over to your members area. So go ahead and go to members area. Then click on embed, go to embed code and paste in this code. Now this code is going to stop people from being able to accessing, being able to access this members area without being a member. So click insert here and this code won't, it, it, it won't have anything visually and um, it will just stop people from accessing this area. Okay, so now we're ready. We can now proceed to our account manager. Okay, so now you can see we've got one member, which is the test. Let's just make sure everything works. So we'll publish this and we'll go ahead and view the website. So here we are on the homepage. We can now log in and enter in our password. So I'm going to enter in my username and password here, which is the one that we just created. Admin, admin. And if someone wanted to register, they could click here and register their account. So I'll click enter. That should then redirect me here to the members area. And there you go. Now, if we want to build out our members area, we can do. You can see it's protected by Auth Pro, which means that if they don't sign up and they try and go here, they're not going to be able to see anything on the members area. So that will be how you can password protect and add a logging box to your Google Sites website. I hope that video helped you out.